South Africa occupies the southern tip of the African continent and faces both the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The Cape of Good Hope was identified in 1488 by Bartolomeo Diaz, a Portuguese navigator on a mission seeking the southern limit of the African continent. Beginning in the 17th century, the Dutch and English followed in the wake of the Portuguese and established settlements. The land is rugged and varied. The Drakensberg mountain range, which takes its name from the Afrikaans word for dragon mountains, marks the edge of the high central plateau. Table Mountain overlooks Cape Town and lends a background to the city skyline. The Orange River flows west from Lesotho, crossing South Africa and eventually forming the border between South Africa and Namibia. There are several indigenous ethnic groups in South Africa, including the Zulu, Xhosa, Pedi, and Swana. Their languages, along with those of several other ethnic groups, are recognized with English and Afrikaans as official languages of the country. Afrikaans developed from a mix of Dutch, indigenous African, and other languages. Robin Island lies offshore from the bustling city of Cape Town. The island and the mainland settlement that would become Cape Town originally served as a waypoint for ships between Europe and the East. Colonial pastoralists were drawn to the settlement from Holland, Germany, and France. They and their descendants came to be known as Boers and eventually inhabited much of the area around Cape Town. In the 18th and 19th centuries, many Boers moved further inland initially because they sought more land and later to avoid the British rule that had been established. They often came into conflict with the indigenous Africans they encountered. The South African War came at the end of the 19th century and pitted Great Britain against the Boers. Great Britain won the war and full control of South Africa, but the Boers negotiated a peace that allied themselves with the British and against the indigenous Africans. When the Union of South Africa was born on May 31, 1910, the non-white population was effectively marginalized. In 1948, the South African government expanded its long-standing practice of racial discrimination with the policy of apartheid. Apartheid enforced racial segregation and the rule of the white minority over all non-whites. Many South Africans opposed apartheid, including Nelson Mandela. He was jailed at Robben Island with many others, primarily black South Africans, for resisting apartheid. Over the years, South Africa faced increasing worldwide condemnation for maintaining apartheid. In the early 1990s, laws supporting apartheid were repealed and a new constitution granted rights to all South Africans. Nelson Mandela became the country's first black president in 1994. The Robben Island prison was closed and became a national monument. It was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999. The major branches of government are divided among South Africa's cities. Pretoria is where the executive branch of the national government resides. Cape Town is home to the legislature. Bloemfontein is home to the judicial branch. Johannesburg has no national role in this arrangement, but is a provincial capital and among the largest cities in the country. It is a significant business and industrial center, as is Durban, another large city that is also a popular tourist destination.